Hey guys, this is Jared here with another upload. I'm going to try to record this in one piece, and this is going to be Monster Facility, how to get every single badge that's displayed here. First one is Flashlight. Flashlight is very basic, then you go into Need It at the very start of the game. So there's many puzzles in the game which you'll need to be able to see in the dark. Um, flashlight will help with that, you just gotta follow the way I'm going, and that's gonna be the same procedure of every achievement in this game. Okay, for self-portrait, you're going to go to the right, and you just want to go down the end of this hall. There you'll see there's a relief painting. This is a weird achievement, because the description said it's off, but there's like every single painting in the game. Zapped is also pretty easy. All you need to go is follow the arrows backwards near the right of spawn, and it'll bring you to this little break area to the right here. I don't know, but there's a red key card there. You're going to need it for another achievement soon. But you just want to go follow the arrows back, and you'll come across this door, which closed on you. You want to put the key card in, you want to do this little parkour here. A bit boring. But um, while we're doing this parkour, may I remind you to like and subscribe. I really want to make money off of this while I go to college, guys. Yeah, like and subscribing. I need to get some more subscribers to make money. So please. Box rooms is the other thing you're going to need the key card for. I'm just going to um, replay the footage of me getting get a key card just to get some more um, time in the video so you get more money. I don't know, man. But you want to grab the key card, like I said previously, follow the way back to the door, which again, shut on me, and you will need to put the key card in and go under the door. Um, after going under the door, you just want to make sure in the middle between the door and if it shuts on you, you'll go to the box rooms, which was a play on the back rooms, but boxes. Um, do the parkour. I took an embarrassing amount of time, but it's okay if you fail, so, um, yeah, to get to the end, there's a trophy, you can just grab that. This is actually one of the harder ones in the game, surprisingly, uh, as an like, skill related rather than knowledge. You want to go to the direction I am going right now, and you want to go to the end of the dark hallway here. This is one of the first ones in the dark hallway, and it's recommended you bring a flashlight, but you don't really need it, but you can. And to the right, you'll see this little maze thing. To do this maze thing, all you need to do is make sure you not do not touch the walls. You want to be very careful, like I am here, and make sure that you turn sideways to help you out with this. And the rest of the maze is pretty basic. Uh, another reminder: like and subscribe. I don't know. Do something like that, please. If I give you any money, please, 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 please. There it is. I don't really like this achievement. It's very uncreative, but all you have to do is go backwards and into the back of the arcade, which we call it that. And you'll see this little pink key card. And you just want to follow the way I'm going after grabbing it. Go to the left here and go past this hallway. Um, and you'll see this little door at the very end. It's the only door that requires the pink key card. And you go through, and huzzah. Wait, so this is not so quite an easy one, just so you know where to go. You want to go to the left over there, and you just want to go to the back left corner of the game. Um, and you want to skip the dark room and just turn left instead of right. And then go across to the white hallway, and you'll see this room here. So this button is really stupid, you just press it and legs will stop forming to the back side of the room. And you gotta dodge them. It's only a few, you just turn sideways to dodge them. And you gotta wait a few seconds for the door to open. Um, there's some bug with people being able to get in. Um, and the door like not actually working. I don't know, but you should be able to get in and grab the trophy. Bring a buddy is an also quite easy achievement. You just gotta follow the way I'm going to the back entrance to the vent. You wanna go all the way back there to the long hallway here. There's gonna be a few trophies back here, and you're gonna be coming here multiple times. So bring a buddy, you just wanna actually bring a buddy. You're gonna need a friend or just another random player. Here I found a random player. He also needs to get up there. So he's a small, small time lapse of me trying to get up there with him. Um, and eventually he does me up too, and you get it. Lavra is, hot, is also quite an easy achievement. You gotta go back the way I go, go to the back entrance, and then go this direction. There's multiple trophies here, so you're going to need to grab them all. You just wanna head this direction at that waypoint. And go down this little obstacle course. It's pretty simple. Don't fall, you become a lava monster, which is very weird. And at the very end, there's the trophy. 
This is going to be a series of the, basically the same achievements. Here's the first one. Going down, just gotta go down a big hall. You wanna follow the way I'm going to the back entrance of the back vent. And you'll need to go under here, and you'll see a hall. Just jump down the hall, and there's a trophy right there. I don't know why this trophy is called the pit, but to get it, you gotta go this direction, and you gotta go down this hallway to the right, and just gotta follow the way I'm going. Eventually, you'll get to here, go under the door, and there's a key card down there on that crate. You just pick it up and jump up the thingies, and you go to this crate, to this door, and use the key card to get in, and boom, you get the pit trophy. Food event is another weird um, little easter egg kind of fun trophy. You gotta go the way I'm going in this video, down the back vent. Eventually come to the door and you wanna enter and at the very bottom of this pit you can see a key card. You wanna grab that key card and you wanna go through this door right here. Yeah, the pit trophy's there, but you're not, you're not going for that. And you have to go up these crates here, and there's a small vent there. Go all through it. And as soon as you reach the end of the vent, it's going to be to your right. Shapes is a fun little puzzle thing, but I already solved it for you guys, so you can just follow the way I'm going right now. And the food back vent. Eventually you'll come across the store, you want to go under it, and you'll see a key card at the bottom. You want to grab that key card right there, and you want to go through the door. And up these little crates to the left here. And then through this vent right here. And you'll into this room, there's a trophy there, but that's not the trophy you're going for. And you'll see a whole bunch of shapes and everything, and a few little uh, stands here. And this is the combination you want to do. You want to do rouge, square, red triangle, you get it, whatever. Just look at that and you're good. The pistol is a gun you can actually get. It works against monsters, but not really well. You should have run away from them, in my opinion. Uh, it helps you join a server without a lot of monsters, but you really need a weapon to kill them. This is one guy who's just trying to kill everyone. Follow the direction I'm going. You might need a flashlight for this one, so you just want to go left after going past the two caution tapes. And um, you'll see this really big room, and it's gonna be at the end of the hallway of the tape right there. Space maze. This my space ma the space maze itself is my least favorite um, challenge. I don't like it at all. But here's how you get the token. We're gonna go down the way I'm going right here. And why we're going there? I can subscribe, please. I'm gonna tell you this multiple times in the video. You're gonna turn left after going past the first caution tape, and you'll enter this long hallway here. With a lot of like storage um, shelves and whatever. The gun is there, you can grab that too, but we're going for the token of these right here. Oh boy, Space Maze, you're gonna hate this one, but I've already solved everything for you, so you don't have to do a lot of efforts. You wanna go into the Space Maze machine, which is the back left of the arcade, and you get this long place, and the way you spawn facing, you're gonna turn back left, so three six, almost at 180, you're gonna go left, and you're gonna follow the way I'm going. It's a bit confusing, but um, you just gotta follow the way I'm going, and you'll get to the very end. So this is a very long hallway, so I'm gonna talk about how long this took while I go along this video, this this path here. Please, please, please like and subscribe. I want subscribers so I can make money. If you haven't already subscribed, then you're kind of, you're kind of being a, a jerk a bit because I may spend a lot of time making this video and. I'd be really appreciative if you could just like help me out a bit and give me some money so I can buy some candy in college or whatever. But this is the pathway. Um, developer, did you really have to make it just one long pathway just to get to the end? Did you really have to do that, developer? It's literally just a useless pathway to get to the end, and you could have done it. You could have just gave me a trophy there. But here's the trophy. Here's the trophy. Grab it. Get us over. Shush is an okay mini game with the arcades. All you gotta go is to the left, and you wanna go into the darkness hallway where you, the, the void of the toxic people spawn. It'll get dark. I recommend you bring a flashlight, but you don't really need it for this one. And to the left here is the token. Shush is the 
arcade. It's going to be the one on the right. You want to exit the arcade room with the Shell Rush token. You're going to go to your right here with the Shell Rush mini game. You go in, and there's going to be a lot of seashells seashells everywhere. I'm going to give two times speed here because it takes a while to grab all of them. But while we're grabbing all of them, I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe because I spent a lot of time in this video. And um, I would really appreciate if you could just give me a thumbs subscribe because that's my goal. So I can just make a few cents of the effort I put into these videos. It's pretty fun. And um, there is, I believe, eight shells in total, four in the one section of the map and four in the other. Um, uh, you'll see the, the final three here. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, please. And, and comment. Uh, I would like to see your um, your opinion on my videos. You see, I forgot the pink one here. I'm like, what, 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 what is the pink one? Because I can remember, oh, I know what the pink one is. It's the back left. And you, um, or ring the bell. I don't know. Apparently, that makes money. I don't know. Do that too. It helps a lot. Anyways, it is the end of the shell puzzle, though. It's just right there. We grab it. And the dark is also a pretty, um, self explanatory one. You just want to go the way I'm going, like the back of the house, but turn left instead of right. And you'll come across these hallways, the, the little, uh, tapes here. You just want to go down the wrong hallway. <laughs> Like, normally it'll be left, middle, or right. I'll explain how that works later. You just want to go down the wrong one, and you'll turn into this darkest creature, and you get it. The gold crate is a little hard. You might need the flashlight for this one. So, just follow the way I'm going, and I'm going to explain it ahead of time. There's going to be three hallways, and you've got to use the flashlight to see which hallway has the, um, the door open slightly. As you can see, I look at the end here, and it says open slightly. So I go in it, and the other ones are not going to be open. Um, you want to look for the crate, I know where it is, just going to follow down this way I'm going to the very end of the room on the right here. The Void minigame is the easiest minigame, like arcade, and the Void token though is a little hard to get, not that hard to get. You're going to go down the same um, area as the other, uh, as the other few achievements, you're going to go to the left here and see the Void the Dark Room. You might want to bring a flashlight, it's a little hard to see in here. And you want to go the direction I'm going. There's a little paper here, you can read it. I don't know if that's actually lore in this game. It's something about scientists and test subjects. It's not that, not that creative. And there's a token. The Void minigame is super easy. I'm guessing they're going to add something later because right now it's basically nothing. You'll see as I go in. So here's your arcade room. And you want to go to the right here where the Void machine is. Uh, put in the token and you can look around. It's just, it's just the void, and over here you'll see the void. Easter egg has actually got to be one of the hardest uh, achievements. Like, I had to get help for this one. This is the only one I had to get help with. And the, the achievement description is very helpful. It says it's among the shells, but you are going to need the shell token, which I'm getting here. Um, it's back there, right there. And you need to go back and put a shell, um, shell mini game with all the other ones. And it's sort of this bell right here. I'm going to show you where the Easter egg is. It's not over to where the door is, but it's behind you over here. Now, the only achievement I forgot to record is the one where you turn into the water monster. All you got to do is touch these black circles, and it works. You'll probably fail grabbing the shells in one place. But here's the Easter egg. Let's have a kick. You're going to go under this little area here. It's the Easter egg right there. Rolling in dough is actually the fastest speedrun achievement, I guess, because you got to go under here and turn this corner to get some money. Uh, you need to achieve the rolling and dough achievement to get this. You need to grab the Robux that you spawn every single time. You put it in a vending machine, just like a few in the map. You get Robux Cola. Drink it while you're at it. Toxic player, one of the easy ones. You want to follow the way I'm going. And um, the Toxic Slayer achievement, the walls you have to avoid, you should want to touch. You'll probably fail it once or twice, so I'm surprised you're even watching this part of the video. If you don't know how to defeat this one, you just gotta touch the wall and you will die and turn into the toxic monster thingy. Stem potion is another pretty hard one because you just gotta know where it is. You wanna know, follow the direction I am going down this hallway here. Then you have to start with the back vent at spawn. Um, And 
and you want to turn this corner here, and underneath this table, there's a little vent here. You sort of follow it. I doubt there's anyone in this room that hangs out, but that's the stim potion. It gives you extra health. Nasty barrels is one of the hard achievements. You gotta go through all these barrels for seeing the game looks like that. You enter it, a spider sometimes will jump out at you, and that's how you get the achievement. This is the one at spawn I happen to come across. Anyways guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Developer, if you're watching this, put me in the corner there. I don't care. Grab my avatar. It's Jared underscore Stanton. J-A-R-E-D underscore S-T-A-N-T-O-N. That's my username. Put that into the NPC loader. Hide behind this barrel. I'm always watching. This game is okay though. This game is okay. There's a whole bunch of well that guy died. a um, whole bunch of cool Easter eggs all around the map and it's fun, but check the markers is better. See you guys later in the next video. Bye bye.